system that's supposed to get help to you faster. In my case, it could have costed me my life. Instead, causing calls to go unanswered. Dispatch from 16. Be advised we didn't get a tone at the station. And delays with deadly outcomes. The Augusta Fire Department is missing calls. The I-Team combed through thousands of emails that show the fire department knew about failures for years. Why would they let it continue on knowing that it's not working right? The I-Team took what we found to the city and fire chief looking for answers and solutions for your safety, but it's been radio silence. So how do you know if first responders will show up when it's you and your family? You're lucky to be alive. Yes. It is a safety concern for anyone who lives, works, or even travels through Richmond County. And for six months, your I-Team's Will Rio has been exposing the problem and asking Augusta's fire chief for answers. An early morning emergency is blurry for Warlene Curry. She can't remember much because she was unconscious. Her family was trying to save her life, waiting on first responders to arrive. I didn't think that I was going, going to pull up through. You're lucky to be alive. Yes. Warlene Curry called 911 for help, a decision that was almost deadly. August 31st, 2022, 1.50 a.m., Warlene is having a heart attack. 911, do you need police, fire, or ambulance? 911 dispatchers called an ambulance and firefighters trained as EMTs. It takes 11 minutes for dispatch to notice Fire Station 16 isn't responding. Dispatch engine 16. 35 seconds go by. Dispatch engine 16. Another five minutes ticks by. 911 dispatches station 6-2. Six, six dispatch. Have you dispatched 16 in this call as well? Affirmative, but they weren't acknowledging purpose. Couldn't get a hold of engine company 16. Engine 6, we were trying to call on the telephone and raise them again. They're not answering. 23 minutes later, firefighters finally arrive at the home. That's only six minutes from their station. According to the incident report, Engine 16 never received an alert. Dispatch manually called the station landline, but no one heard it. By the time I got to the hospital, I had had a stroke along with a heart attack and was in there for a week. Curry's case is one of at least 139 dispatching errors discovered by the I-Team. Everything from car accidents, fires, to medical emergencies like the one experienced by Warlene. In my case, it could have costed me my life. For Tommy Williams's family, the price of the problem cost two lives. What's it like looking at all this right now? It's heartbreaking. That gum, that's, you will, people don't understand what I've lost just, just by it. I, this was my room. I kept all my. I just. That's material stuff I know. Rex and Teresa me, means the most because I could have replaced all that. But without them, I don't have no reason to. Teresa Ingram and Rex Williams didn't make it out alive from a house fire. Both were found inside just steps from the front door and just across the street from Station 16, which never received the initial call from dispatch. Dispatch from 16. Be advised we didn't get a tone at the station. The I-Team found hundreds of emails within the Augusta Fire Department. Engine 13 was dispatched over Purvis and did not receive tones. There was a 16-minute response to a call that was 200 yards from the station. Another saying there was a network outage and the internet was down for over three to four hours. During that time, Purvis failed to work. If you did not manually send the call, they never received it. Purvis is part of Augusta's 911 response equipment. A dispatcher types in a location. Purvis is supposed to then dispatch help based on location and urgency of the emergency. The data goes through an interface designed by Tyler Technologies. The I-Team has now learned the city may have known Tyler Technologies was a potential problem three years ago. In this email from September of 2021, it shows issues with Tyler Technologies' CAD interface when the Purvis system was being tested. Purvis reached out to Tyler Technologies then. We obviously have been testing with Augusta Fire, and I am sensing their patience is wearing thin. But also, the next customer down the road, Nassau County Fire, is talking about canceling the project because this has been lingering for so long. The system failure has a face and a human cost. 
Through our open records request, we found that the Augusta Fire Department never tracked how many initial emergency calls went unanswered, like the one that killed Rex and Teresa in this house fire. But we do know of at least 139 cases after reviewing county emails for four months, but there could be more. You're a perfect example. Your case may be a small percentage, but again, those are life-saving services. Mm -hmm. I mean, these are things that people could die over, mm -hmm. no matter whether it's one case or a thousand cases. Mm -hmm. It's alarming. I would like to be able to call them and get the help that I need. It appears the fire department only began to investigate after the I-team started to investigate. On March 12th, James Perkins wrote, As you may have heard, the news media is investigating calls that Purvis is not announcing. I would like to set up a meeting to discuss this and possibly reach out to Tyler and have them investigate. The latest incident occurred today for a working structure fire. Warlene Curry cherishes every day, but her sense of safety is shaken since that morning two years ago. I was still trying to ask them, what, what happened? How did I, I'm still asking, how did I fall asleep? And they had to explain to me what was going on. For months, the I-team has repeatedly requested a sit-down interview with Augusta Fire Chief Antonio Burden. They sent us a statement saying they have no further comment on this matter. Stay with us as our I-team will have more on this developing issue. And thank you, Will, for continuing to follow that. I think just seeing those dispatch error numbers really put things into perspective of what a problem this is. He's asking important questions, and hopefully we'll eventually get those answers. Will, thank you for that.